Forget what you learned in school. A grade of A or B is the last thing that you want. There's something you need to know about. Level of service, LOS for short. It's something that's used against you. It's making your streets dangerous. It's making it impossible to walk across the street. Level of service is just a way the traffic engineers measure vehicle delay at an intersection. So if you have to sit for five or six seconds at a red light, that's level of service A. If you have to sit for maybe 20 seconds, that's not so good anymore according to the traffic engineers. And if you have to wait a whopping, I don't know, 50 seconds or a whole minute, then the traffic engineers say that things are so horrible that we've got to add more traffic lanes. There are a lot of interesting things about level of service, but most importantly, from the federal government on down, most of the leaders in the transportation industry agree that level of service or measuring car delay at a red light is a terrible way to judge whether or not a street is a good street. And yet, we keep using it over and over and over again. In fact, wherever you live, if you're, especially if you're in the United States, there's a project going on right now that's ruining your life because of level of service. The story goes, we've got to have a level of service A, B, or C, otherwise these roads are just crumbling. It's America's crumbling infrastructure. That's false, and the federal government says it's false. Measuring car delay at a red light is a terrible way to determine whether or not a street is good or not. And it turns out, streets all over the country that have level of service A or B are some of the most dangerous streets in America. They're the streets where cars are speeding because there's nobody else on them, or because there's so many lanes that people can just swerve around and drive like they're on an interstate. So if you have a level of service A or B, chances are your crashes are through the roof, and it's probably terribly dangerous to walk across that street. So why don't traffic engineers just throw out level of service? Well, because fundamentally, level of service is about congestion and speed and traffic engineers are taught all through college and then by their mentors when they get a job that high speed for car traffic is good, even though my children know that speed kills. You don't need to be a traffic engineer to fight against this. You don't need to be a professional planner to fight against this. You do need to fight against this though. Even if your local government has some rules built in that say, if you work in a development project, you have to do a traffic study and you have to document level of service, fine, document the level of service. You might get a level of service D, E, or an F, but it's not school. An F is probably fine. An E or an F shows that there's a lot of people in that area. There's vitality. People want to be there. That's a good thing. It probably also means that cars are moving slowly because level of service E or F means slow moving cars. But you know what that's good for? That's good for walking.